risks and complications. This operation is safe. There are, however, several possible risks and complications which are unlikely but possible. You need to know about them just in case they happen. By being informed, you may be able to help your doctor detect complications early. The risks and complications include those related to anesthesia and any type of surgery and those related to aneurysm surgery. Risks of general anesthesia include nausea, vomiting, urinary retention, cut lips, chipped teeth, sore throat, and headache. More serious risks of general anesthesia include heart attacks, strokes, and pneumonia. Your anesthesiologist will discuss these risks with you and ask if you are allergic to certain medications. Blood clots in the legs can occur due to inactivity during and after the surgery. These usually show up a few days after surgery. They cause the leg to swell and hurt. Blood clots can become dislodged from the leg and go to the lungs, where they will cause shortness of breath, chest pain, and possibly death. It is extremely important to let your doctors know if any of these symptoms occur. Sometimes the shortness of breath can happen without warning. Getting out of bed shortly after surgery may help decrease the risk of blood clots in the legs. Some of the risks are seen in any type of surgery. These include 1. Infection, deep or at the skin level. If a deep infection occurs, the graft may need to be taken out and replaced. 2. Bleeding, either during or after the operation, which may require blood transfusions or another operation. 3. A skin scar that may be painful or ugly. Other risks and complications are related specifically to the surgery. These again are very rare. However, it is important to know about them. Complications include sexual dysfunction, kidney failure, death of the bowels, also known as gangrene, gangrene of the legs, and spinal cord stroke. The nerves that control erection and ejaculation may be closely attached to the aneurysm and may be divided during the operation. This could result in problems with ejaculation and erection. The following organs in the abdomen and legs are close to the surgical area. They may be damaged directly or their blood supply could be affected. The abdominal organs such as the liver, stomach, and intestines including the small intestine and colon, could be damaged. The kidneys, the bladder, and the tubes that connect them could be injured. The internal female organs, such as uterus and ovaries, could also be damaged. There is a rare chance of spinal cord stroke, resulting in paralysis of the legs. Nerves going to the legs could also be affected, leading to paralysis and decreased sensation. All of these complications are extremely rare. Treating these rare complications may necessitate other operations. However, the damage could be irreversible and death may result. There is also the possibility of the graft clogging again in the future. Hernias through the incision or incisions are possible. This happens when the internal wall of the abdomen is weak and intestines push under the skin. This may require another operation. Rarely, some plaque or debris from the aneurysm can go to the arteries in the legs and block them. If this happens, it may require additional surgery to reopen these arteries. After the surgery, your doctor may recommend a healthy, low-fat, low-salt diet. Exercising moderately and avoiding smoking are also helpful. Your doctor will tell you how long it will take before your incision is completely healed and when you can go back to work. This depends on your age, type of work, and medical condition, as well as other factors. Summary Aneurysms are weak areas in the walls of the arteries. An aneurysm that ruptures and bleeds is serious and life-threatening. An abdominal aortic aneurysm can occur in the aorta and continue to the iliac arteries or the arteries that go to the kidneys. 
Taking the aneurysm out surgically and replacing it with a graft may be life-saving. This operation is relatively safe with good results, if done before the aneurysm bleeds. However, as you have learned, complications may happen. Knowing about them will help you detect them early if they happen.